staying at home does not mean to get really bored. If you love photography, you're already gifted. So now in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to delight paintings at home using the tools that you very likely already have. If this is the first time you're here, my name is G. I'm from Red Imagination by Gigi. Red Imagination is basically my production company's name and I'm one of the Nikon Z creators in Australia. So in this video, I'm gonna do the shoots using this tiny little, more capable than you think, Nikon Z50. Look how cute this camera is. Gucci, Gucci, such a cutie. You're such a cutie, aren't you? So this tutorial is also aligning really well with the current Nikon Australia's placation campaign. If you don't know what it is, you know, I'll link it down below. Have a look, get your entry into the placation and you can be the one that wins that Nikon Z6 II. Good luck with that. So what do you need? Obviously a camera, I'm using Nikon Z50. My mobile phone as one of the light source. A tripod is a must and an object that is interesting to you. Me personally, I'm using one of my guitars because I think it's pretty cool, I love guitars. But you can use anything, you can use toys, you can use the vehicle, your car, you can use the cooking utensils, anything that you think that it's gonna work and you like doing, just use it. And if you wanna take it to the next level, something a little bit different, get one of these neon thing. This is really cool. You can actually create like a smoky effect out of it. Hmm, I wonder which guitar should I choose? Um, electric ones or the acoustic one? Actually, I'm gonna use this one. If you look at this closely, it says make music, not missile. I think this is the one that I'm gonna use. Good message. If you don't have any tripod, however you wanna do it, make sure you got some sort of stabilizing mechanism. Like you can just put the camera elsewhere, but the camera has to stay still during the shoot. That is a must not negotiable. I might shoot in the landscape mode, I might just tilt that and shoot in the portrait mode. We'll see which one works better. So again, with a camera, I'm using Nikon Z50 and the kit lens, which is 16 to 50 f 3.5 to 6.3. As far as the settings that I'm using right now, I'm using f 3.5, which is the widest that the lens can open. If you're shooting with the fast lens, if you can go up to 1.4, 2.8, you can also do that. And I'm shooting with ISO 100 and 30 second exposure. About the exposure time, in this specific example, you can actually set the exposure time to as long as you want. Because when we're taking the shot, we're gonna turn off all the lights in this room, we're gonna make it like really pitch dark. And that gives us 100% full control in doing the light painting. You can paint the lights as much as you want or as little as you want. Full control, that's what we want. I would recommend you to use a remote control or set the timer onto the camera so when you hit the shutter button, it doesn't actually start taking photos. Actually wait for five seconds, two seconds, whatever the time that you're setting it to before the camera actually starts taking photos. Because every time you hit the shutter button, you actually shake the camera just tad a little bit and that's gonna be enough to blur your photos just a little bit. So we wanna make sure that the photos comes out crispy, tacky, sharp. So before I turn off the light and the camera is too dark to see, I'm gonna give you a preview about what I will be doing. I'm gonna just wave this flexible neon just under it, just like because I wanna convey the guitar is being burnt like on fire and normally fire starts from the ground, right? So I wanna have like bit of a base of the fire, of the blue fire, and I'm gonna wave this to the back of the guitar as well just to create that silhouette look of the guitar. And if you're using a phone, you can just simply use the torch or the front screen of your phone and just wave it around behind the guitar and just make some outlines. That's what I'm gonna do, so let's give it a go. Turn off the lights. All right, the 30 second starts now. OK, 
Okay, now that we've learned it, let's take it a little bit to the next level. I love the shot, but I want the guitar to also not looking too silhouette-y. I want that part of the guitar that's got a sticker that says Make Music, Not Missile. I want that part to be illuminated as well. So this is why we've got this in place. We've got SB700 from Nikon. I've got this radio transmitter pocket wizard. This is a transmitter that's going to be attached to the Z50. And this is a receiver. So when the Z50 takes the shot, it's going to send a signal to the receiver. And then boom, this is going to flash. And if you look at this part right here at the front, this is uh, what we call a honeycomb grid. So the purpose of this is when the speed light's firing, I can then control where the light's gonna go to instead of having the lights going just everywhere. And this is the example of the photos without this grid and with this grid. I've got this from MagMod, which works really well. It's, it's magnetic, basically. It's got a thing that attaches to your flash and this just slap that on to the flash and good to go. That's it from me for today. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you like the video, like and consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. All the photos that you've taken using this technique though, I want to see them. So if you kind enough to tag me on Instagram, Red Imagination Adventure, I want to see them, you know, we'll have a chat if you've got any questions. And again, you know, photography is absolutely a gift, a blessing. And uh, photography is not about the equipment. The camera is a tool and is the extension of your vision. So don't make the gear as an excuse. Thanks again, thanks so much for watching. Keep making this world a better place. Peace.